One of the things that you want to make sure that you're always aware of is the average true range of the market that you're trading. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at some spot Forex markets here. So it's it's not as important as your P&L, but it will help you decide on which pair to trade. So in this example, we're going to use the Aussie Yen. Let me hyperlink this to this chart. So now they'll both be the same really quickly here. Okay, now, there we go. So now we've got the Aussie Yen. All right, so down here at the bottom, you can see that it's 90, uh, 0 0.9299, so 92 pips, basically, is what you're looking at. So if you look over here on the left, I've got in trade, trade stations called a radar screen. Well, the cool thing about this and the reason it's so powerful is you can actually filter based upon the average true range. Now, the average true range is going to expand and contract as the price action gets volatile throughout time. The setting I'm using is a 14 period look back, and all that means is it's looking back 14 bars. So now you can see these are the average true range. I've got them set up in radar screen in trade station, 93 pips, 83, and you can see, okay, so boom, right here. The British or the, the pound versus the yen has 1.21 pips so it's going to be a wider range and you can obviously see that the candlesticks are wider the second thing you need to know is what's the minimum tick move or pip move and in forex it's always a pip but pips can be worth different nominal values in other words how much are you going to get paid per pip so what we're going to do is we're going to filter this on trade station so what we're going to do is we're just going to double left click up here on average true range and what it'll do is it'll bring the high number or the low number depending on which way it filters it to the top so there I double tick, I double clicked, and now you can see, here we go, from the smallest average true range to the largest. If you want to look at the largest to the smallest, you can just double click it, and now you can see British pound, Euro yen, Aussie yen, um, Canadian dollar yen, Swiss franc yen, New Zealand dollar yen. So a lot of the yen ones are having a little bit uh, wider average true range. And that's very important when you're thinking about trading a range of a market. And a lot of times, some of these will even have a larger range than, say, index futures. So remember, next time you look at a market to trade, always take a look at its average true range to make sure that it has a good average true range. Good luck. Hope it helps. See you in the next video.